It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see who can claim Big Apple bragging rights. It's the New York Jets and the New York Giants, and it's coming up next on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to one of the great cities of the world, London, England. Brandon Gond and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Kicker Graham Gano set to put his foot into this one. And we are underway here in London. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Rodgers going to the air to start things out. Forced out to his... And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And check down, complete to Hall. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Now Rodgers. Buying time to his left. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it will still bring up a fourth down. But one of the things we talked about coming into this was we we're never going to question the fight that he's going to have for all four quarters of a game. But ideally, you want him fighting for big plays and first downs early, not fighting just to get back to the line of scrimmage, as we saw right there. So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. And the Giants will begin this drive in good shape, first and 10. Okay, here we go. Now Jones. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an Alba boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. The 20. Fought. Touchdown. Giants. 41 yards for Devin Singletary. And the Giants put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Graham Gano on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7-0 lead. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. To throw, it's Rodgers. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. That's good for us. First carry for the Iowa State man, Brees Hall. And the tackle there by Micah McFadden. From the 46, here's the second and nine. Throwing now is Rodgers. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Call it a gain of six on the play. And now it's third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll run with Hall. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Yeah. 
And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Throwing Jones. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. Operating from the gun, Jones. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter. Now a second and six, as they've got it as we resume action. To throw on second and six, Jones. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets, 35. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Looking to throw. Jones had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Off the play fake, Jones. Now this thrown deep for Slayton. A rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off, and the Jets are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. So this defense coming up with a takeaway, and maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. Well, I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true, but you're right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys, really, on either side of the ball. So maybe that's the catalyst that they needed to get them back into this game. Now a play fake. Rodgers. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. They need 12 here. It's third down. Throwing is Rodgers. Flushed. And Rodgers is going to go down in the end zone. It's a safety. At this point, I think it's a surprise when he isn't close to being sacked on a passing down. The amount of times he's hit the deck today, I think a lot of us are reading safety before they even took the snap. Simply a merciless pass rush every step of the game. And that rush earns a crowning achievement there. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. Not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football.
Tough spot here, third down and 11. They go right back to Singletary. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. On fourth down, Jamie Gillen on to punt for the Giants. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So out now come the Jets. Remember, they had the safety go against them the last time they had it. Fortunately, their defense just forced the punt, so they'll try again as they start first and 10. And he is going to lose yardage here. Shotgun now for Rodgers. There's Hall bringing in another one. And he will lose yardage on the play, back at his own 19-yard line. On third down, here's Hall. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now the veteran Thomas Morstead on to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. McKenzie now to return it. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And it'll be giant football first and 10. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Throwing to start the drive. Jones over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. So pass interference, the call is so tough Automatic as a defender, I'd imagine, to time that up perfectly. It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting there fractions of seconds too early. That one looked a little more obvious. Always a tough penalty to officiate. Just ask the basketball refs. The ball comes out, and it's scooped up by the Jets. And they have the football, and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Final 24 seconds of the first half as they come up here first and 10. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And Rodgers is going to go down. He's sacked. Offside. Defense. And yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. To throw is Rodgers. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Now it's Rodgers. That is caught. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. A final shot before half for Rodgers. He's airing it out for Williams. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, no sooner do the teams get to the locker rooms, and they're running right back out. Halftime over, third quarter, ready to go. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Oh, a good return up past the 30. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The other New York offense getting ready for their next drive. And despite the turnovers, Charles, and they had multiple in that first half, they still have the lead as they begin this third quarter. And they probably heard some conflicting tones at the half, don't you think? A lot of praise for what they did to get this lead, but also a little bit of scolding because they got to take better care of the football in the second half. But you and I both know the great leaders, they know how to give that little bit of vinegar in there and cover it with a big dose of honey. And he'll push forward for a couple to the 34. They'll see about converting this third and eight. 
Operating from the gun. Jones able to find the open man. That's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw. Jones. That ball caught by Slayton. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Darius Slayton, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Giants take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. And they'll try and run it in with Singletary. And he will get into the end zone to bump the lead up to three scores. So they kept it on the ground, got it into the end zone. But Charles, sometimes you probably see teams treat a two-point conversion differently than if it was first and goal from the two, or I should say third and goal from the two. I agree with you totally on that. A lot of teams treat it as if they have farther to go and shy away from running the football. I think this is a great spot to do it because... The Jets offense ready to go in this battle of New York. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. To return is McKenzie. A nice run back there off the good punt. It's a 16-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Jones now throwing to start the drive. Pass is caught by Wandale Robinson. He's to the 15. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Wandale Robinson. 54 yards. And the Giants are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Gano the extra point, and the lead is now 24. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll give it to Hall to start the drive. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. At the 19-yard line. On play action, Rodgers rolling to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And the pressure gets to him again. Brian Burns, he's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. He'll take it a few steps in front of the 50. Now he's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. We have played three quarters. Welcome back now here in London. It's the Giants with the football and also the lead as we get set to start quarter number four. They'll give this to Singletary running right. Shrugs him off. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. 
and I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully, and I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Now Jones off the bootleg. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Touchdown, Giants! Darius Slayton with his second touchdown of the night. And the Giants start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. Extra point try, good by Gano. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And he returns this to the 22. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move Offside. on to the next one. Defense. So with the completed pass and the yardage they got, they'll decline the penalty. So obviously, more yards on the pass completion than they would have gained with the penalty. They did the math, they did it well, and it works for them. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Here's Rodgers to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. Brian Burns able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Now Rodgers got to have this one. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down. And they come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving and then some. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Here's Rodgers. And yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Rodgers now to throw. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Rodgers going to throw. He has a man. It's complete to Wilson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. From the 25, here's second and six. To throw, it's Rodgers. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. 
So Rodgers will depart and on is Greg Zerline for the Jets' field goal. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good, and they will remain well, well behind. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Singletary to get the drive started. Powers through. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. 62 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Here now, second and four. Singletary again. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's second and ten. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And they just took a timeout with two seconds to go. This one obviously decided. Not sure they needed to take it, but we'll take it with them. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. Right hash mark, a 42-yard attempt. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was that they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.